the recent UFC event with um, Wei Li Zhang and Joanna Zedshashek. We'll call her Joanna. You, we'll call her Joanna. I'll call her Joanna. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Joanna. So it was the co main event on the um, Israel Adesanya versus Yoel Romero card recently. And this fight ended up being literally, they're talking about as one of the top five best UFC fights ever. Certainly the best women's fight we've ever seen, or at least I've ever seen. They stood and banged the whole time. And the fight was highlighted by the fact that at some point, the Chinese fighter Zhang hit Joanna with a straight right and it swelled her head up in a way that I've never seen a head swollen before. In hindsight, it's shocking that they continue to let the fight go on only because her head was swollen like a pumpkin. The entire forehead, she looked like an alien. Nevertheless, they let the fight go on. Uh, Zhang ends up winning a very close decision, but my, what a fight. And I know you've had a chance to look at it and I'm dying to hear your thoughts on this one. Well, the first thing you're going to ask me, I'm sure, uh, you're going to go back and ask me, Teddy, have you ever seen swelling like that? Or any kind of injury right? like that where the fight was, yeah, where they well, let the fight I mean. continue. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever seen anything like that? My answer would be, it was extraordinary, and it shows you the heart and the merit um of why these fighters, women or men, should always get paid as much as they can because of the risk and what they go through and the heart, the resolve, the resiliency, the greatness of them to deal with these things and still still go forward. It shows all of that. But my answer would be yes. And my man Rob's about to send you a picture right now. And we're going to put it up there at the right time. We'll get it up there. We'll have it up there for the fans too. But there it is. You take a look. I just want Ken's reaction, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's Haseem Rockman. I remember that. I remember that. The only thing I'll say is, as bad as that is, that was the girl's. This is like over his left eye. That girl, Joanna Jenchechek, her entire head was like this. But yeah, I, know, I remember but, but this. this. I remember this. But this distinctly. moved beyond his eye. This did move to, I'd say, to his bridge of his nose eventually. So it was at least half his forehead yeah. was, you know. And uh, so I have seen it before. It doesn't make it any more uh, graphic or any less graphic or any less extraordinary. Uh, it, it's a testament to these athletes, to why they're so special, uh, why they can do and accomplish things that other people don't accomplish. I want to applaud these two women I'm not going to call them women. I'm not going to call them anything. I'm just going to, I want to applaud these two fighters. I want to applaud these two special people uh, for, I am not an expert on what rates as the best UFC fight of all time. I'm the first to say it. Uh, I have all the respect in the world for the sport. I watch it more than I used to watch it now, but I do not watch enough, uh, especially of the women's, to say that I could judge if it's the greatest. But I don't have to. When you watch that, you know what you're watching. From my background in boxing, from a background of anything competitive, anything of merit, anything of consequence, anything that you have to overcome and deal with difficulties, when you watch that, you salute it. You take your hat off. You stand up and you say, oh my goodness, bravo, bravo, bravo. And that's what I found myself saying. The same way as those commentators were saying. And that's another way I could judge it too. I don't need it. I judge it myself the way I just said. But I trust those UFC commentators. I find them on the whole to be better than a lot of the ones in boxing, quite frankly, there's some great commentators in boxing, some tremendous one. Uh, there's ones. There's no doubt about it. Um, but um, but then you don't get the consistency, and I see a little more consistency with the UFC that I've been able to see. So when they tell me, so when they tell me that it's the greatest or potentially the greatest UFC match they've ever seen. I listen. And again, I, I see for myself, but I still listen. And I'm, I concur. <laughs> I concur. Uh, and I tell you, the thing that 
the thing that really struck me, Ken, about this, so many facets of it, so many dimensions of it, the heart, the steadiness, the consistency, uh, you know, the, I, I mean, all of it. But the thing that probably most impressed with for me was how they both maintained their levels of form and technique throughout the entire fight while pushing themselves at a high risk level. And I think that's for me that's the way I would the way I would say it. Uh I mean Joanna, you know, I'm not gonna go down that road with <laughs> that name. Um she impressed me with her she impressed me with well they both impressed me with everything. But she impressed me with her intelligence, her discipline to just to to take the fight on the outside um where she had an advantage. You know, I I I recognized and I appreciated that she was longer, taller, and she had an advantage on the outside. Um where she was served by those attributes. While for me, Zhang, uh, am I saying her name right? Zhang? Close enough, Zhang. Zhang. And I want to say it, they deserve their names to be said properly. Um, Zhang, she she looked like better BF, the fighter that we saw up close mm -hmm. in some ways, the, the uh, unified champion. Um, steady. Relentless, uh, strong, strong, physical, and when she would get into her proper power lanes, her proper places where she was comfortable, she would consistently put together four punches, four or five punches, um, knowing that that was her, th knowing that that was her thing, knowing that. That that was what she needed to do um, to maximize her things that she does. That she gets into that place, she works herself into that place, kind of like the old saying, make hay while the sun is shining. Yep. She had that attitude. You know, okay, I'm here. I'm not throwing one. I'm putting the four solid punches uh, together. Um, she, she also reminded me a little of Inoue, the great Japanese champion in boxing. That's always balanced, always in position, always set, never out of position. Uh, that impressed me. Um, again, Joanna was, I, I found Joanna a little bit more adaptable and versatile, uh, and their styles obviously were conducive to, you know, to a great fight, which your styles do come into play to make a great fight. Um, it was a classic, was, for me, it was almost a classic stand-up boxer. Like, they were classic stand-up boxers with the addition, the bonus of a kick, <laughs> you know, the, the, the bonus of a kick, like two stand-up, magnificent stand-up boxes with, you get an extra, you get a cherry on top. <laughs> the cherry on top was a kick. At one point, at one point, I, th I think in the first round, Zhang kicked uh, Joanna in the jaw so perfectly, and the girl just kind of shook it off. And it's interesting that you used the analogy of better BF because that's exactly what it looked like. It looked like very similar to our fight where it looked like Alex was winning. Joanna looked like she was winning, more versatile, but the other one was just so strong, so solid in what they were good at that when they got that chance to get off, the, the strength advantage. And that's the point that I was trying to make with... with um. With Zhang, uh, say the name of Zhang. With with Zhang, I was trying to make that point. Yeah, she knew, she understood herself, her strengths, and what she needed to do when in a position to do it. She recognized that she she didn't miss a beat. Yeah, she knew what she needed to be doing. It's kind of like that uh, Dirty Harry movie with the great Clint Eastwood. 
a man must know his limitations. <laughs> you know, a man must know his strengths and his limitations. She knew her strengths. She knew for her, especially in this fight where there wasn't margin for error, when she's in position, let four go. Let four solid punches go. She she knew what she needed to be, what what to be on all eight cylinders clicking. And she needed all eight cylinders, not seven. <laughs> That, that's a great talent. That's a great ability to recognize that in yourself. Yeah. That <laughs> she knew she needed all eight cylinders. And one of those cylinders was a, could not be missing. Could not be missing. It had to be hitting. To, I'm in position. Bang, 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 bang. Let those four go. You know, it's one of her strengths. Make sure that it's there. And um, for me, Ken, the fight had everything. I mean, it really did. It had technique talent, toughness, determination. It had ebbs and flows that make for a great fight, for a great story, for a great novel. A great fight is like a great novel. Yep. You're reading a chapter by chapter and then you're going through changes. You're going through, you know, overcoming things. You're, go you're going through, you know, ups and downs uh, uh, where the character in the, in the novel uh, is being threatened and, and maybe about to, about to be uh, defeated, and then all of a sudden they come back in the next chapter. You know, it, it was it was like reading a good book. Yeah, uh, it, and that's what a good fight is in some ways. Uh, it had the back and forths. It, it was really, really, truly like watching a a beautiful firefight. Well, there was always the presence of danger. There was there was also a certain majestic quality to it. Kind of like a dangerous dance. Yeah. Like, really, it, it was uh, It was really special. It really was. And um, little did I know that I'd be on our podcast uh, applauding the way I am a, a great woman's uh, UFC fight. But when it's there to be applauded, it should be applauded. <laughs> 